How does God communicate to you? Lastly, before we speak about converting to Islam and what you need to know and do after converting, let's quickly go over how our Creator communicates to His servants, to you and me. How would you know your role in life, your true purpose, unless you receive clear and practical instructions about God's wants and expectations of you? To glean this knowledge, we have a need for prophethood and revelation. God has sent thousands of messengers and prophets to humanity to convey his message and communicate with us. Every nation on earth received a prophet for this purpose. They all preached the same general message, that only one deity is worthy of worship. He is the one and only God, without a partner, son, daughter, or equal. God sent messengers and prophets to guide humanity, to deter them from worshiping created beings in lieu of worshiping their creator, the creator of all things. The prophets taught their people the identity of their creator, how to build a relationship with him and how to love him. The prophets taught their people that life is only a test. Those who pass will enter paradise eternally, while those who fail will be subjected to the ultimate punishment in the afterlife. As an extension of his mercy and love, God continued to send messengers with books to guide humanity, starting with Prophet Adam and including Prophets Noah, Abraham, Ishmael, Jacob, Moses, Jesus, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them all. Many of the prophets are mentioned in Jewish and Christian traditions. All previous messengers and books, other than the Holy Quran and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, were sent only to those specific groups of people intended to receive the message and were meant to be followed only for a particular period. For example, Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, was one of God's mightiest messengers who was sent down with the same general message as the previous prophets but he was sent to speak only to the children of Israel, the nation where he resided that existed before us as their final prophet, because they were disobeying the commandments of God and veering away from the laws sent down by the previous messenger, Moses, peace be upon him. Whenever God sent messengers with revelations, people would distort and change the revelations after they were passed. What originated as pure revelation from God would be polluted with the words of men, myths, superstitions, irrational philosophical ideologies, and idol worship. Just like how Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, was sent to revise the previous message sent before him by the messenger Moses, peace be upon him, Prophet Muhammad came to reform Prophet Jesus' message as it had been distorted by his people and did not survive in its original form. When humanity existed in the depth of the Dark Ages, God the Almighty sent his last and final messenger to humankind, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his final revelation, the Holy Quran, to redeem humanity. The Holy Quran and the final messenger affirmed everything revealed to the previous messengers. No messenger or prophet will come after him, nor will there be a book released after the Holy Quran, since both are meant to be followed by all people living today until the end of time. The Holy Quran is God's message to you, so read it. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is your prophet, so you should obey and follow him. Obeying and following Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, equates to obeying and following God, the Almighty, because God instructs you to follow the prophet sent to you. Contrary to popular belief, Islam is not a new religion that came into existence just 1400 years ago back in the 7th century. Islam has existed since the first moment that man set foot on the earth. Throughout history, anyone who practiced monotheism by submitting to the will of God and following their prophet was considered a Muslim. Human beings have been practicing Islam since the creation of Prophet Adam, peace be upon him. Islam is the only religion that God ever commanded humanity to follow. Islam, therefore, is the only religion that has ever been acceptable to and ordained by God. The final prophet of humanity, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was not the founder of Islam, as many people mistakenly believe. Instead, he was sent as the last and final prophet, one delivered from the hand of Almighty God to convey his message to our nation, the final nation. 
Islam is a continuation, the culmination, and the completion of God's universal and eternal message to humanity, as revealed to all of God's previous messengers and prophets.